This is a preview of the next PVR add-on for XBMC. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is the configuration uh, under System, Add-ons, Enabled Add-ons, PVR Clients. You'll see the next PVR client configuration and this is the 1.0 version. Uh, sub is the developer of Next PVR and also the uh, the developer of the add-on for XBMC. So in the configuration, you can see there's there's not much to it. You put in the IP address of the server wherever Next PVR uh, backend is being hosted. Uh, the default port is 8866 so I just left that to the standard or, or to the default rather and same with the pin code I just left that to 0000 and once you configure the add-on you can go back to live TV. Of course, I already have it enabled, um, but this is where you would enable the live TV after you've configured the plugin. And then on the live TV main screen, you can see recordings, upcoming recordings. Uh, if there's any current recordings, it will show you those here as well in the upper right hand corner. So when you go into Live TV, you can see your channels and the guide. The one thing I love about uh, Next PVR is it actually shows the it shows the actual channel number um, for like I use Dish Network on my back end for my set top boxes uh, connected to HD PVRs, and I also have two HD home runs that. Or, I'm sorry, I had one HD home run that's dual tuner that uh, captures my off air channels. So, 4, 5, 11, 17, 22, 28, 50. These are all local channels to, to where I am in Raleigh, North Carolina. I don't have any radio channels configured or radio stations configured in Next PVR, so I can't show you any of that here. The electronic or the uh, the program guide <clears throat> defaults to now. <clears throat> you can also see the programs that are coming up next, and you can also see a timeline, a regular TV guide like that you would see in uh, your cable box or uh, Dish Network, whatever. And you can select a channel and switch to it. There's also a mini guide when the TV's playing that you can bring up. So while you're watching a station, you can bring up the mini guide and see something else you want to watch and switch stations and the information panel shows you the channel you're watching the program is playing now and then what's playing next down at the bottom it also shows you the program information this is in 720p and Dolby Digital 2.0 you can also view and watch recordings um, so if you've recorded TV programs such as The Big Bang Theory I've recorded here Two Broke Girls so on and so forth you can view your uh, your recordings and play them directly from here
and you can also view and remove timers that you've added. Uh, I use the web guide, the uh, NEWA, N-E-W-A, web uh, guide to actually schedule my series recordings. Um, you can schedule recordings, manual recordings in the, the XBMC as well, but I use the, the web guide for pretty much everything. And it's very fast, very uh, very well connected, seems to work really well. Haven't had many problems. Uh, Sub has been great working with me to, uh, to work out any remaining issues and uh, right now it seems to be working perfect. I have four clients connected to the server downstairs and uh, seems to be working great. And that's the preview. I hope you enjoyed it.